On her program, Wendy Williams discloses that she has been residing in a sober house. Tuesday morning, talk show personality Wendy Williams made a startling and touching confession on her program, she had been residing at a sober house. She revealed to her audience, I have been living in a sober house. You know I've had a struggle with cocaine in the past. I never visited a facility for medical care. I stopped, she said. I don't know how, but God was sitting on my shoulder. But there are people in your family, it might be you, who are struggling, and I wanted to know more of the story. Williams said she spends her evenings after work at the sober center, where she spends time with her brothers and sisters caught up in their addiction and looking for help. I'm not aware that I'm Wendy. I'm Wendy, and they don't care, she remarked. It's been really interesting, this ride. Williams further disclosed that her living arrangement while pursuing therapy was only known to her spouse, Kevin Hunter, and son, Kevin Hunter Jr. This has only been known to Kevin and Kevin. No one knew, not even my parents, she remarked. I am driven by my 24-hour sober coach back to a home that I live in, with a bunch of smelly boys who have become my family. Williams continued by outlining her regimen in the sober house. Doors locked by 10 p.m., lights out by 10 p.m., so I go to my room and stare at the ceiling and fall asleep to wake up to come back here and see you. She continued, so that is my truth. The information was released one week after Williams Hunter Foundation established a hotline for substance misuse. As previously mentioned, Williams announced her long-awaited comeback to her show on March 4 amid reports of personal issues. Her excuse for being absent was that she had a broken shoulder and complications regarding her Graves' disease.